Hello, this is Tony Riggs with Go Engineer. We're going to take a look at a short little video showing what we can do with custom groups for our Insight software. We're going to use custom groups to maybe go in and modify some of the toolpaths on the part, but not all of them. The first thing we're going to do is come in and do a green flag processing of the part. Maybe come over and switch to a top view, and we're going to page up until we get to our first layer of of text on our part. If we right click and say shade the toolpaths, we've got the ability to go in and look at some of the lettering. We can see that some of the letters don't fill in quite as well as we might want them to, so this is a perfect use for custom groups. If we come over to the toolpaths pull down, custom groups, and we're going to create a new custom group. And this first custom group might be called letters. And maybe we bump up the contour width just a little bit. Well we've created the group but we still need to come in and select some geometry and actually add it to that group. Now with this first icon we can process the toolpath on just one layer or with this one we can process, process it on the entire group. So we've got a little bit more of the letters filled in here but the nice thing about the custom groups is we can go back in and modify that maybe that make that a 0.24 I'm going to say OK to that, reprocess that, fills in the layers just a little bit more. Another use for the custom groups is maybe in some geometry like this post. Maybe we want to go in and make this a little bit stronger. So what we can do is if we come in and maybe select this layer as our bottom layer for our range, and then if we page up all the way to the top of the part, select that as our top of range, and then view that range of layers and come in and see just from from that bottom of that post up. So we might want to come in and create a new uh, new group for our post and we've got our contour width. Um, we can come in and take a look at um, our geometry. Maybe not a single contour but maybe multiple contours maybe come in and put in four contours around the outside. We can come in and say OK to that. Again we've created it but we haven't selected anything for the group. Select just that tower, add that, and we'll process the layers on the entire group and see what we have done. So we've gone in and we've put four concentric rings around the perimeter of our part. And this might be useful if we were going to go in and say tap the inside of a hole. We might want to put some concentric rings around the inside so that it might tap a little bit better. Or in this case maybe we give this part a little bit better strength. You can see by the color that, that is on a specific group. And same color over here. We can actually assign different colors to different groups so we can tell them apart a little bit easier. So that's just a couple of the uses for custom groups, but I hope it gives you uh, maybe an idea of what you can do with the Insight software. So again, this was Tony Riggs from Go Engineer, and I hope you enjoyed this video.